Posting a review could put you at risk of being sued. This is In the Spotlight. It's about people on this planet that has captured the attention of vloggers like me. Listen and learn more about your concerns on In the Spotlight. Posting reviews is second nature for many people nowadays. When they have a bad experience with a business, up goes the review to share it with others. But for one man in Florida, what he thought was a simple review turned into a year-long battle in court. I never thought I'd be sued over anything I write. I, there's no reason to say anything but the truth. But Thomas Lloyd of Deland, Florida, says telling the truth got him in trouble. His ordeal began when his 10-year-old poodle Rembrandt suddenly fell ill last year. Lloyd rushed him to nearby Deland Animal Hospital, where he says he was told the dog needed immediate surgery for what was probably a ruptured spleen. And I said, you're going to do this right now? And he said, yeah. But six hours later, he says the clinic told him to come pick Rembrandt up, that they'd been unable to find a surgeon. He took the dog to a second clinic, but says he was told it was too late. Rembrandt would need to be euthanized. It isn't like there's a closure. He deserved a chance, and they didn't give him a chance. If he had died on the operating table, I would have understood. Afterwards, he posted a review on Yelp, writing the staff had wasted six hours of Rembrandt's life and destroyed whatever chance he may have had to live. Our Rembrandt deserved a better last day. Weeks later, DeLand Animal Hospital and veterinarian Thomas McPhail sued him for defamation, alleging Lloyd's statements were false and published maliciously and recklessly. I'm finding out that isn't always cheap to, to give an honest review because if the other person has money, they, uh, they can drive you underground. When we spoke with him in May, Lloyd owed $26,000 in legal bills, more than his yearly Social Security income. And he's not the only person who's been sued. Last year, a New York woman was sued by her doctor for $1 million for posting negative online reviews. A man in Kansas was sued over a three-star TripAdvisor review of a theme park. And a South Carolina woman was sued by a restaurant she claimed refused to honor a coupon. We're seeing a rise in individuals being sued for speaking out online. Evan Muscagney works for the Public Participation Project and says many lawsuits are designed simply to intimidate. They're called slap lawsuits for strategic lawsuit against public participation. A slap filer doesn't go to court to seek justice. They are just trying to silence or harass or intimidate a critic of theirs. Some states have laws against slap lawsuits, but there's no federal anti-slap statute. Earlier this year, the FTC began cracking down on businesses that put gag clauses in their consumer contracts in violation of the Consumer Review Fairness Act. FTC's Carl Settlemeyer. Why is it important enough that the government feels like, hey, we need to step in sometimes. Well, the online review uh, medium has really exploded over the past you know, decade or so, and people's reliance on and ability to learn from online reviews has really grown in proportion to that. You know, people have stories to tell, and they're not able to, to get them out because they feel like they're you know, going to be threatened. Thomas Lloyd stuck to his guns and countersued. Earlier this year, two former veterinarians from DeLand gave sworn affidavits, saying even though they lacked experience doing the emergency surgery Lloyd's dog needed, veterinarian McPhail had declined to do the surgery and instead left for vacation. After the animal hospital's attorneys learned of our interview with Lloyd, the case was quickly settled. They shouldn't be able to try to financially break somebody just because they don't like what you say. If you want to learn how to write a perfect resume, develop effective interviewing skills, and become a time management specialist, look into taking my online course, Skills to Pay the Bills. It's available right now at GetReadyProductions.com.